What is going on guys? Welcome to Zane Investing again. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. Credit Suisse has just made a significant shift with AMC, prompting the question, what's next? Make certain to remain around. However, before I begin, I would appreciate it if you would give the channel a thumbs up. We have spent a considerable amount of time discussing Credit Suisse over the past few weeks, especially given the fact that, as a global, systemically significant bank, if they were to fail, it would have a domino effect that would immediately bring down several other banks, including UBS, Deutsche Bank, and the Bank of Japan. Again, whenever such a catastrophic incident occurs in the global financial system, it is likely that things are not going well. The news is awful for Wall Street. This is extremely terrible news for hedge funds. Anyone who is a counterparty of one of these banks, or anyone for whom one of these banks is a counterparty, the ripple effect would be utterly enormous in effect. Consequently, we already know what occurs when a company or hedge fund fails. This is the reason or one of the reasons why Credit Suisse is in such a precarious position. Archie goes fell in the previous year. They were one of the parties involved. They were left with a large number of swap contracts, presumably on GameStop, AMP, and several other stocks. And for whatever reason, they continue to engage in a level of activity that has left them in their current position. But we must also remember the crime and everything else that has occurred. The target price of 95 cents that they set for AMC, though, piqued my interest. Because, from a strictly fundamental perspective, there's no reason for this to ever occur. Obviously, AMC is headed in the direction of profitability. Hopefully at the end of 2024 possibly in 2025, or even even sooner, depending on the performance of the credit cards popcorn and the box office in 2024. In addition, a large number of other analysts assert that the fair market value without the synthetics that is somewhat diluted AMC is substantially higher than where we are currently, which leads me to wonder why Credit Suisse is still purchasing AMC shares if they honestly believe the stock price will continue to decline. Why are they still purchasing AMC shares, right? Credit Suisse purchased 5,784 shares of AMC Financial Arm, according to a press release issued by AMC. However, Credit Suisse previously predicted that AMC would reach 95 cents per share, and now they are purchasing more shares. Clearly, they require a Christmas miracle in order to remain solvent. Now, once more, we continue to see several firms stockpiling AMC in enormous quantities. My guess is that they are anticipating some type of catastrophic financial crisis that could force the stock price to rise. However, as they observe here, numerous other institutions adjust their ownership of the company, significantly expanding their holdings. Investors 417%. In addition to these, there are a number of additional valuable items. Increasing San Luis riches once more. At these levels, with this level of manipulation, and with the support of the community that we have, there's no fundamental reason why AMC should not be substantially higher than where it is currently trading. However, one of the reasons is that Credit Suisse's position is jeopardized. Their stock reached an all-time low last week, and their credit default swaps are currently over 400 basis points, indicating that even Wall Street believes they are in a dire situation. Black Swan events claiming that Lehman failed five days after reaching 610 basis points on their credit default swaps. Essentially a 6.1% premium each year to have these credit default swaps that would pay out the Credit Suisse five year, which is currently around 400 basis points. Once more, this has increased rather astronomically. And while it appears that every other bank in the system has begun to recover, Credit Suisse continues to advance. Now, once more, their CEO asserts that the company's liquidity position is satisfactory. However, we heard the exact same remark from the CEO of Lehman Brothers just before the company collapsed. Even with the Saudi National Wealth Funds backing at this stage, the question remains as to what is happening at Credit Suisse and whether they will be able to maintain a positive trajectory. On top of that, however, there are further institutions that indicate AMC is moving in the right direction. And there's nothing you can do to argue otherwise, considering the fundamentals and the 13F filings that continue to arrive. Chris, from Crystal Ball stating that Goldman sold the majority of its puts. They sold 1,800,000 AMC put options. Now, 
there are two distinct possibilities that could be occurring. Prim and foremost, they intended to sell these puts to bears because they required liquidity. But I have a feeling that is not the case, right? Realistically, puts are only valuable if you believe the stock's price will decline. Now, if Goldman Goldman, of all people, does not expect the price of AMC to decline, this is an indication that we should be quite bullish right now. They still possess shares or principal amount, around 1.1 million shares with a market value of approximately $7.9 million. These puts are also reducing very astronomically, indicating that they have sold nearly everything at this point and are once again beginning to go long in accordance with the vast bulk of the market. AMC fundamentally appears to be one of the companies that will outperform the market during a recession. Whenever the rest of the market goes down, whether it is for negative beta, or because AMC fundamentally appears to be one of the companies that will outperform the market during a recession, investors become extremely bullish. Michael Cade said, Just heard on CNBC, Shouldn't we wait for the Fed to pivot before equities can rise again? In the past, Fed pivots have been historically bearish. Now, Gentlemen, the Fed essentially functions in three cycles. Correct. There is an increasing cycle in which interest rates are being raised. You have the pause cycle in the middle, which will last a few months while they determine whether or not interest rates have been hiked sufficiently to battle inflation, most likely between 4.5 and 5.15%. And then there comes a reversal, a reversal of what it is where they begin to decrease interest rates, at which time the market is not immediately receptive. Typically, it takes some time for the market to recover after a decline. Again, we must remember that pivot is not necessarily a positive development. Even if they transition into pause zone, we will most likely enter a phase characterized by a great deal of recessionary pressure. This is one another indication that hedge funds would soon be reorganizing their portfolios to ensure their survival. In 2022, now known as the Troubled Asset Relief Program, the Bank of International Settlements reports that foreign exchange swap positions indicate more than $80 trillion in secret U.S. dollar debt declared off exchange. Again, it is excessive to argue that billions are now trillions. The exact same criminals are involved. This is the result of not fixing the problem. This is one of the reasons why I have often stated this. I feel that what we are currently experiencing is 2008, but protracted. We have returned after a 14-year absence with the exact same material as previously, but it has been expanded. One of the reasons we continue to keep AMC is that it is one of the stocks that tends to outperform the market whenever it declines from a fundamental, technical, and short interest perspective. And trust me, the market will decline shortly regardless. That concludes the video for today. Thank you so much again for joining us. While you were down there, I would appreciate it if you would give the channel a thumbs up. Consider selling some free stock. Thank you incredibly. And we'll see you again soon.